Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, not the lost. I have to shut the fudge up for a second every time I start an Eden run. Okay, we got one HP, we got like caffeine pill, is that what that is? I think it's caffeine pill, we got uphill, and we got a high priestess card. We got no HP basically, but we do have, we have one HP, but we have Book of Shadows. Tears Down is, is like, is really, really bad. Um, okay. What's our seed? 664T CTSL. We are also on the seller right off the bat. Is this how it ends? Surely not. A tears down pill? When our tears were already shitty? Book of Sin? What do we need? Let's focus on what we need, not what we don't have. We need five cents. That's why I'm taking the time here. Look at this rate of fire. And it doesn't look like our damage is going to compensate for it, but um, we need five cents and access to the shop. Save the High Priestess card for the Haunt fight, if it is the Haunts, or Fistula for that matter, could probably get shit on pretty easily by this. This is, um, this is by far the scariest start I've ever had. Uh, as Eden. <clears throat> Particularly, I mean, like, the, the Book of Shadows is awesome. But the scary thing, of course, is the, uh... Don't get hit here, holy crap. When this room is starting to give you, uh, trouble... You gotta be a little bit scared, but, um, let's not get nervous. I forgot what I was saying. It's it's mostly that tears down pill that really fucks with you, man. If we encounter, like, this room's easy. If we encounter more difficult rooms before we pick anything up, we could find ourselves in a difficult spot. So I'm saying fuck boss rush, fuck, you know, funny references, fuck everything. I had a great anecdote about how Ikea breakfast is only one dollar. How is that even possible? I, I kind of want to go into our curse room... Let's see what our item room is. Oh, that's that's so good. Yeah, that's like necessary. We got Epic Fetus. All might be forgiven. And if you're going to be mad at me for taking Epic Fetus in this situation, I don't know what the fudge to tell you because this is this is jacked up, man. But um, just make sure we don't get hit by any spiders in here. Uh, this, this may allow us to get out of this. In fact, I, I would be surprised if it didn't allow us to get out of it. I'm just trying to find a secret room maybe adjacent to our... Uh, to our curse room, so we can get in there for free. You know, we do still want to be smart about this. We also want to avoid spiders. I want to not give my chance, myself a chance, I should say, to walk on the spikes at all. Oh, please, spirit hearts. It could be so good. It's so risky. Do we want to play this for the chance of getting a spirit heart, or do we want to go to our shop instead? I'm going to play till three cents, then blow it up. Oh, that sucks. Um, <clears throat> what do you think? Secret room maybe here? Oh, that's so good as well. <laughs> We're still not, like, completely out of the woods at all here. But certainly this is a huge benefit for us. Okay. Not really. Oh, my God. And your spiders? Gotta do it, unfortunately. Now, we have HP that we can use as we leave here. <clears throat> that extra key does allow us to get into our shop. Where I'm hoping that we'll be able to pick up a spirit heart. And if we pick up a spirit heart, I'm not going to say that all is all is well on this run. But it probably is, right? Like, we're probably in a good situation. And I will leverage whatever we need to leverage in order to, to make this one work. I will buy everything on here. Like, this is just one little piece of the puzzle here. I need to get more so if I walk on spikes, I'm not completely fucked. Oh, man. Okay, so this was looking terrifying. And then immediately totally fine. I, I appreciate this a great deal. I actually want to buy the battery charge before we fight our boss, because I'm nervous about it. Um, I'm nervous about dying to the boss. Even with High Priestess. I probably shouldn't be, but maybe I should be, you know? So I'm going to blow up our donation machine a little bit. And I'm going to actually just get Nun's Habit instead of the battery charge, because then if we get hit once, we'll have um, a, a new charge on our on our items, so it, it makes sense, you know? I think it makes sense, at least. We won't... Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. We took another 16, well, uh, 20 cents out of our donation machine here. I'd love to give it back at some point over the course of this run. For now, we just gotta be smart. You know, we gotta make sure that we get out of this end. It was the Widow, so we probably didn't even need to do that, but we're still gonna be better off having Nun's Habit instead of not having it. This is one of the very few times in which I will take epic fetus and be like totally 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 justified in it all we need on this run now and I've, it is amazing to me that I can say that after starting in such a wonky position 
But all we really need on this run now is um, HP. If we can get HP upgrades, we are unstoppable, effectively. Which is very exciting. Book of Shadows, Nun's Habit gives us a lot of survivability. All we lack is... Well, you know what? Tears are actually pretty slow as well. I don't think it's just Epic Fetus that's causing our incredibly slow rate of fire here. Incredibly low rate of fire? I guess it's not a slow rate, if you know. It's, that's, it doesn't matter. So yeah, how about the fact that Ikea breakfast is only a dollar? I was in an Ikea recently, and by recently, I mean... I guess literally we're talking like four months ago now. And I ate a meal there, and I'm not ashamed to admit that, uh, you know, this is probably gonna rub my Swedish viewers the wrong way. I think Ikea makes a, a pretty damn fine cot blur. You know? It makes a pretty sweet uh, meatball. At least by Canadian standards. A lot of Canadian meatballs. Um, and I'm not trying to insult my countrymen. Thank you for Cricket's head here, by the way. But a lot of my meatballs, I'm not trying to... Uh, not a lot of my meatballs. A lot of meatballs uh, here. I'm not trying to offend my countrymen or anything like that. But they have a tendency to be a little dry. Spiced. Like, nicely, but at the same time, just like, they don't have that, that juicy moistness, and I hate the, to say that word because I know some people hate it, but juicy moistness that, um, you know, Swedish meatballs do. I noticed while eating my delicious cot blur that, first off, those were only like three fifty, which is a great price. You know, if you're going to start selling me on deals that are better than that, you're barking up the wrong tree. That is a pretty damn good price for a, a hearty lunch rich in, in proteins and carbohydrates. Anyway, they have a breakfast for a dollar. And I understand you don't need to give me the Business 101 lecture on, oh, it's a lost leader so that people will come into their store, like their furniture store, and they'll buy stuff. It, you know, it encourages people to go to Ikea instead of going to other furniture stores. I get that. But still, if you had a car somehow had free gas and could daily, you know, have the time to drive out to these remote locations that Ikeas are in, you could save so many pennies on a daily basis on breakfast. That is remarkable to me. Good on you, Ikea. I, for one, welcome our new Swedish furniture overlords. Now, if you could only write the GD instructions properly for the furniture so that even an idiot like me could uh, assemble it, that would be even better. I'm not very good at Lego. Um... Okay, okay, and not so good. So no deal with the devil precedent, but this is still an awesome run. I'm not talking shit about either Ikea or Lego, by the way. Most of our furniture comes from Ikea. Um, because there's really only, like, as a, as a young adult, there's like three grades of furniture. Or as an adult, I guess, there's three grades of furniture. There's like hand-me-downs from your parents. There's nothing wrong with that. Lived with those for a long, long time. Then there's Ikea, which is like... Slightly up there on the price point range, you know, you're buying furniture, it's a purchase. And then, there's like, this is an antique Chesterfield worth $35,000. And we're, like, not really interested in going down that route for a number of different reasons. Um, so I think Ikea is the right point for us right now. But I'm the kind of guy, um, I think the map is exactly what we want here. We can just leave. I'm the kind of guy who, when, like, Kate will buy Lego sets sometimes, and I look at the box, and it's, like, ages 6 to 12, and I'm like, okay, this is my shit right here. Like, if it gets any more intense than that, I'm actually... Something in my brain is just not good with spatial awareness. I'm, I'm, uh... I'm an analytic guy to some extent. I'm a word guy. Um, communications, not so much Lego. I could never, you know, people were like, you know... If you want a good job long term, why don't you just go to engineering school or something like that? Well, why don't I just strap on my engineering helmet and go to engineering school? Now, my brain brain don't work like that. That's got to be Bob's rotten head. Instead, I'll just play video games on the internet. Uh, we're better off, for sure, with uh, Book of Shadows here. And it's amazing how quickly the tension on this run went from insane to basically non-existent. Uh, we... Pretty much, I'm not going to say we can't lose this run. I have lost epic fetus runs before in my life, but it's extremely unlikely that we lose this run. I'd have to hit myself a lot, and actually my speed is too high. Like, it's it's just extremely unlikely to happen. Um, what I would love to see, I would love to see more damage, I would love to see the ability to fly, and beyond that, I guess, like, our damage is, is good enough to roll with as long as we need to, I guess. Like, if we have to roll with this for the rest of the game, we can. But I would love to see, um... Just, uh, unique utility items. So, you know, starter deck, PhD, stuff like that. A better spacebar item, maybe. We can't see our secret room at the map. I'm still, apparently, getting used to that. Monstro's Lung. It's a shame that 
Oh, don't get too tricky here. I hope that you'll um, you'll cut me some slack for taking Epic Fetus on this run because it really did seem to me like it was either Epic Fetus or Death, and that's a fairly easy decision for me to make in the moment. So I went with Epic Fetus. Um, it's a shame because there is Monstros Lung on this run. There's three dollar bill. Those are some cool effects that I would I would really like the opportunity to take advantage of, but unfortunately we we had to tap out early. Sharp plug. Uh, yeah, this is there's nothing wrong with it at least. I can't really imagine a situation in which we would like the value proposition of hurting ourselves to make sure we didn't, didn't get hurt more on a room. Maybe for like a blood bank it makes sense, but that's a relatively minor concern, I would say. And this might be a, a run where we have a really good chance of getting boss rush as well. Although what I'm mostly concerned about now is getting my, uh, ooh, jeez. Getting my rate of fire a little higher so that uh, I don't have to take 25 minutes to kill every single room for no reason. So a DPS upgrade on that vein would be fine. I'm going to save High Priestess, man, because we are easily killing... Oh, that was dumb. But we are easily killing all of these enemies. So we might as well just save the High Priestess card for an enemy that we don't easily kill. HP? Tears? No deal with the devil. And a shot speed up. Jesus Christ. Well, we do get Temperance here. Vindicates me somewhat for not taking the... Uh, for not using the Book of Shadows. Pick up a decent amount of money. And we can play it one more time. Why not? Took us up to 17 cents. I like it. Uh, let's try to... Let's take a quick peek for our second secret room. Like, we might be a little slower as a result of this. But at the same time, I think it's a good idea. One Eternal Heart could save us a little bit of trouble over the course of the run. Probably not a lot, but a little bit, you know? Shouldn't be there, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, and shouldn't be there either. I really think that there's only one secret room, lo second secret room location, and it's like right here. What am I missing here? That was a homing bomb, which is kind of hilarious. What am I missing here? It shouldn't be off to the right. Like, there was not enough space over there. I thought. Like, there was no... There's no way to reach the side. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm probably having a brain fart right now. I'll recognize. Thank you for the spirit heart as we head down to the next floor. About 40 seconds too shy for boss rush. But boss rush not essential, but it will be nice. Too shy for my definition of boss rush anyway. Still looking for every single thing that we have asked for, basically. <laughs> some tears and some more HP. That is a start. I really should be using Book of Shadows more often. I'll be the first to admit that. I have a, a genuine... Ooh, that's potentially good. I have a genuine problem with uh, not using... Hope that hit. Not using uh, spacebar items as much as I probably should. Speed up is great. Are you a wizard is... Why did I even take it? But there it is. Magic mush, please. Uh, well, lots of range down pills, which is exciting. Luck ups are actually totally fine. Two of the same pill here. Sp oh, yeah, I mean, I'll take them. Being able to get out of my own way with these shots is a smart idea, for sure. And Liberty Cap over Swallowed Penny. I think we could justify it, even if we do have an arcade on this floor. I do like Liberty Cap. This was definitely a room in which I should have used uh, Book of Shadows, especially considering that we have the Nun's Habit. Oh, well. Bad trip? Nah. High Priest is still better, at least when we have low HP. This run is... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, I'm... Not feeling too smart about myself right now. This run took it out of me, man. Uh, even just that, like, three rooms until we got Epic Fetus scared the shit out of me. I wouldn't have been so bad were it not for the tears downgrade. It was really that tears downgrade right off the bat that was just like, oh, it's potentially going to be one of those situations, huh? Another situation in which I should have used uh, Book of Shadows. You know, it's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy. Shouldn't have played this once, we should have used Book of Shadows first, because then we'll get, you know, one more play out of it. Oh, oh, well, it's largely irrelevant, never mind. Although now I've screwed myself out of the boss trap room. But it only had a stone chest in it anyway, so... Unlikely to be that worthwhile. Lots of red chests on this floor. Of course, you know, anytime we have a chance to become guppy, I would, I would welcome it. More pills. Bad trip. Tears down. Speed up. That's like our only good pill. Well, luck up. Okay, now I feel like an asshole because I misrepresented the situation. I'm sorry, okay? It wasn't our only good pill. I was just being an asshole. Gotta do a little Paul Korea deke around these guys. Whoop! Oh, I bunged it up something fierce. Okay. Are we... Mm, we're gonna be a little... Actually, we're gonna be a lot too slow for boss rushing. You know what? That's fine. If you had told me at, this, at the very, very start of this run that I would be fine... 
but have no chance to do boss rush, I would be like, you know what? That's fantastic. That's great news. Because there were some times where it was looking a little, a little sketchy over the course of this. Thank you for making that very convenient on me. I, yes, I am being sarcastic. Why do you ask? Mostly, I mean, when I was younger, I'm going back to the Ikea thing. I had been to Ikea with my parents from time to time. My, my city, my town, whatever you want to call it, did not have... Ooh, we probably will do this. Even though Book of Shadows is great, I think we can justify this and it'll be kind of fun. Um, so we definitely don't want to buy a spacebar item here. That's actually a really good pickup because now we can buy something from our next shop and we will get one more shop as a result of the forget-me-now. And there's our second secret room. Uh, it might just be our secret room, actually, now that I look at it. Uh, we didn't have an Ikea, so it was like a big deal when we went to Ikea, but my parents were always like, We're not gonna eat at the Ikea! Are you crazy? It's a furniture store! And now, you know, my... We might as well fight the boss, of course. My wife introduced me to the wonders of the Ikea food court. I ended up... And this is like the, the daddest moment of my life. But up to this point, at least. I ended up buying, like, three kilos of Ikea meatballs. And I was like, you know, it's only like four dollars a kilo. This is a great deal. I didn't even get any furniture that day. Uh, I just went, I, we were in the area, and I was like, I should stop in and get some Ikea meatballs. And that's exactly what the fuck I did. And I don't regret it a second. So we will, we'll, we'll embrace Angel, um, Angel meta here. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that, uh, Mom's, wow, Mom's contact could actually work like that. We might as well take the key pieces, because we have no other options. Uh, like no rerolls or anything like that. And then we'll do the whole forget me now thing, and we'll say goodbye to Boss Rush. Give my regards to Boss Rush. We're out of here. Yes. HP, a little scary, but we did pick up some extra ones there, and the mine, so good. Anyway, now we need a new space bar item if we can get one. Oh, hopefully we get enough money to pay back our donation machine for possibly saving our lives. Yes, this is fine. Um, let's see what we've got in here. This is awesome. I would love a... Well, you know what? It actually worked out pretty well, but I was hoping for a, a lard pickup, of course. Hoping for another uh, angel room here as well so we can get that early full key and hopefully still get a few more uh, deal with the angel chances but honestly the mind is a pretty good angel payout PhD would be so good we just keep getting these ugh, these pills that could be turned into something so amazing so many pheromones pills though those aren't gonna change mmm arguably worth it I suppose but not by much might as well blow these up as well. Um, what I was gonna say is that I've had some people, you know, suggest some novel uh, ways to make sure that I do more Angel Room stuff. I actually feel like we're striking a pretty good balance of Angel Rooms. Over the course of the streak, we've had more Angel, like proportionally or percentage-wise, I think, more Angel Room plays than any other time in my quote-unquote Isaac career. I mean that sincerely. I think that's true. And it's just because, you know, Devil Rooms have, by and large, on the first floor, had a chance to be on kind. They give us three red chests, and then all of a sudden we've got a good chance for angel statues. Then if we have a bomb, I'm like, ah, shit, why not? And, you know, the angel, or the key piece provides a small degree of, uh, of precedent, I believe, for angel rooms in the future. So, I, I think we've been doing pretty well with our, with our variety there. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's kind of like the, the dark room uh, chest kind of thing, where I really feel like, for the most part, angel rooms are... Ooh, we don't really want that. I feel like angel oh, angel rooms are a little bit less interesting to deal with the devil rooms. However, unlike dark room um, Polaroids, sometimes they force me into angel, room, angel rooms. Not anal rooms! They force me into angel rooms and I don't have a choice. So that's, that's more of a situation where um, I'm like, okay, fine, let's do the angel room because we can, basically. Are you a wizard? I am, I am not a wizard. I am a human being. Starting to get... Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm starting to get a little little anxious about HP here. We can't be the dude who loses a run with Epic Fetus on a streak like this. Our rate of fire... This is Liberty Cap fucking us on that room a little bit. Our rate of fire is so bad. So we have a Steam Sale. I would love to donate to our donation machine. But more so, I would love to just get, uh, you know, some Spirit Arts or a better trinket. Good cards. Anything. I'm going to play down to 20... 20 cents seems legit. Uh, Liberty Cap I still think is better than Goat Hoof. Probably. There's one. There's Callus. You know what? Let's take Callus. Slightly nervous about our HP. I think we can justify Callus. We don't need the mapping from Liberty Cap. And Liberty Cap 
uh, on average helps us out, but when it really lowers our rate of fire like that, that's a real problem. Let's go uh, item room and shop, of course. There's no good reason not to do that right now. We have a tinted rock over here. Honestly, uh, I'll take what I can get. Golden chest is fine. Small. Oh, don't. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, small rock is great. Golden chest that gives us the tower is is pretty terrible. Why did I use it? That's another great question. I don't know what I was thinking. On the other hand, I think we're probably going to be able to get out of that room without getting hit, so I'm, I'm fine with it. All right, so we do want to play our blood bank some more as well, just so we can have a chance to get... Uh, even the IV bag would be fine, you know? I like it better than I used to as far as trinkets go, or um, as far as items go. Space bar items, even. Our pills have been terrible, so... I do think piggy bank is a justifiable purchase. That could hurt. Got lucky to get out of the way. Um, telepathy for dummies is really terrible for us. That's just not very good. I will buy this for two cents. Yeah, fuck it. Let's get it. We got two tears downs. One bad trip. We might be better off taking bad trip over high priestess here. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use it immediately on our... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think we're going to be able to use it immediately on our blood bank, but, you know, for the future, if I find myself in a really terrible position, this is a little bit like a get-out-of-jail-free card, so I appreciate it. But that was largely a, a wasted purchase, I'll admit. Piggy Bank is going to give us more money here, which presumably at some point in the future is going to allow us to have a great uh, donation machine. Well, let's put it this way. I'm assuming that we'll be able to donate as much to the donation machine as we want. It's up to the donation machine whether or not it wants to allow us to do this. It's an eternal heart in there. I'm very pleased to see this. Let's donate some to our donation machine. Maybe we can get it to cap out here. And then we have a better idea of where we stand. And mostly I just want to make sure that we're still able to buy spirit hearts into our future, you know? Take it all, man. There we go. Uh, okay. I'm going to blow this up and pick up the eternal heart. It's better this way. We're back to 15 cents. This is good. Uh, I mean, this is obviously good. We have... Are we still in Caves 2? We are. Catacombs 2, but you get the idea. Uh, remember when I was talking about Boss Rush? Those were the days. Anyway, I, uh, I I can't act like this is a bad run. The only thing that sucks about this run is, is our low rate of fire, somewhat sketchy HP, but it really should work out completely fine for us. Come on, dude. There we go. And uh, the more Angel Statues we get, the better, probably. We could really use a, a Miter or a, a Relic. Or the ability to fly. All of these are fairly common. Man, boss rooms have not been super kind to me. Let's get our second key piece anyway. Let's use Telepathy for Dummies and just see what it does. You know one item I'm really coming around on lately? Uh, not that I ever hated it, but I really like uh, Haunt Bombs, actually. Haunt Bombs. It might be Fire Mind now that I think about it. It's Fire Mind. But I like the Haunt Bombs effect. Clutch save, because I don't like uh, Fire Mind very much. Um... The, the extra fires on the ground, I get them all the time on these, like, huge reroll runs. Where I, like, reroll my whole run with, like, 30 items. Uh, they do so much damage if you can get, like, four fires stacked up in the same area. It can really fuck with the, uh, the enemy. That's exactly what I was hoping for here, is nine lives. I didn't even get a chance to say it, because, uh, Super Gluttony died in one hit. But I wouldn't necessarily, you know, hang your hat on the chances of us getting Guppy. But even though it cost us a decent amount of HP, picking up nine lives here was, uh, was very, very important. Well, it, it could be very, very important. Our HP is still fine, but now we have a, a little bit of a, a failsafe in case things go terribly, terribly wrong. That was not very smart, but in the same vein, we kind of broke even on that room. There is, uh, pretty much literally no reason to do that room. I don't think we gain anything from Spectral Tears at this point. So we might as well not worry about it. Right, we have Callus. If we're going to have Callus, we might as well... I can't believe that worked. Uh, we might as well enjoy walking into the rooms at all... Or walking into the spikes at all times. That's half the fun. Two Spirit Hearts. Uh, one... Well, okay, you know what? I don't want to say that I'm a genius, but maybe I'm a little bit of a genius there. How do we not get hurt on the way out? That was very strange to me. We've had lots of weird occurrences lately, like... Um, that one where I picked up seven cents when it looked like I got seven cents when it looked like I only picked up a nickel. What people told me about that one was that uh, sometimes champions will drop more than one cent. I am an idiot. Uh, champions will drop like more than one coin, I should say. Awaz rune. 
uh, on the same slot, so it looks like it's only one coin, but then when you pick it up, it's it's actually multiple coins. I know what you're saying. Nice try, Northern Lion. You've been faking the streak by giving your sense, you're giving yourself clandestinely two extra cents whenever possible, and hoping we didn't notice. It's true. It's that's the difference between a win and a loss most of the time is the extra two cents and just hoping people don't notice. Death card, lover's card, tower card. Bad trip is not really good anymore, so probably the death card, but that's not going to kill the zombies because again, I did the idiot thing that I do. Still, great HP here. Are we going to fight Mega Satan on this run? I think it's going to be pretty easy to persuade me to fight Mega Satan on this run. Let's let's just put it that way. Um, I would like to get a little stronger before we commit fully. We could always just back out, but... Man, this is... This run would have looked so different. And I'm not trying to be like, see game, you didn't know what you had until it was gone. But if they had just given me an HP upgrade or a Balls of Steel pill... Instead of, uh, instead of that Tears Down pill, I probably wouldn't have taken Epic Fetus. Now I would have, like, Monstro's Lung, $3 bill, uh, Tiny Planet. But instead, we just have, uh, Epic Fetus combined with, uh, a lot of items that don't really do anything to... Very stupid. Don't really do anything to make it more interesting. So, you know, you'll, you'll forgive me, but I feel a little bit like, you know, jokes on you, game. That is a Tears Down pill, I think. Blank card star is not, or blank card stars uh, is not very good, but if we get better tarot cards, it could be. There's like blank card lovers, blank card tower. Um, blank card stars is better than those right now with low HP, I think. Because we can teleport a lot. I mean, it's not a great benefit, but it's something. This is our mom fight, is it not? No, it's only Necropolis 1. Holy crap. Our <laughs> We've had a lot of slow runs in the recent past. But in our very, very recent past, there's been some super quick war super quick ones. This one is not in that category. We did get an HP upgrade. I like to see it. Let's head down to the next floor. Immediately we'll stars right away, because why not? Doesn't seem like a good reason not to. Actually, you know what? We'll I'd rather pay the HP this way than fight the bosses in the boss trap room. So we'll just open this up, pick up the shit, and then teleport away. Got a speed down, which I think is acceptable. HP, the ability to crush things. Honestly, just crushing things uh, this way. We, we kind of had that ability already with Epic Fetus, but being able to crush them this way is way, 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 way nicer. Blank card, Burkano rune. Substantially better. This is really good stuff. The Burkano rune is criminally underrated, I actually think. Uh, it's super good. And actually, on a room like this, we're going to be able to generate a nice degree of flyness here. And even just once every four rooms, being able to generate uh, flies and spiders, that's pretty solid. Considering we have Epic Fetus and all of our uh, all of our flies and spiders, I think, are going to do a ton of damage. We're getting closer to it here. I was hoping maybe we'd get an HP upgrade payout. Not that we fully need it right now, but still. Yeah, this is this is a better setup for us, for sure. I did not mean to walk into that. <laughs> uh, I think we will take our Eternal Heart. You're not going to like this, but I'm going to walk into this, use Burkano Rune, get the battery, use Burkano Rune. I don't think I'm going to buy the battery battery, though. I don't think... Uh, I'm just going to be using this at all opportunities. I guess we might as well buy it just in case. It's not like the money benefits us at all. We might as well take this with us, and I'm going to take our Eternal Heart as well. And being a little bit lower in HP doesn't matter that much because we have the Eternal Heart here, so I don't think it's it's very relevant. And any room... Blank Card World is actually useless for us because of the... Uh, because of the... Um, the Mind, which we picked up, which is great. That's, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Blank Card, are you a wizard? That's, uh, that's useless for two different reasons. Probably crush that last one there. Burkano, don't you don't need to, you know, break yourself up over this one. I don't want you to use yourself for no reason here. I don't think it's it's a very smart idea. Petrified poop is way too little too late. Wow, that was very worthwhile. Why am why am I doing this? Do I want the money? Not really. Okay, you know what? You you lost yourself a customer, mister. I am not interested. I don't need your money. Al Capone, your blood money. Hitman style. Um, I mean, 
we're actually probably in a situation where blank card high priestess is way better. And what I love about this is we could actually use like blank card uh, high priestess battery and then drop two high priestesses on a boss. And that's going to do a lot of damage. Kind of got to play a little bit of a guessing game here with where I'm going to be able to hit. Oh, bottom for sure. No deal there. That's okay though. Let's uh, Let's head down here. Let's head down here. I did pick up the Polaroid, correct? I didn't pick up the the negative there? I think so. I think we should do... We owe it to ourselves to do a little bit of exploration here. I'm going to try to find the... Uh, well, there... I mean, we can see everything. So we're going to get to the curse room. On said... Oh, I'm very sorry about that. But that gives us a better deal chance. And a tears upgrade. Holy shit, it does exist. We're going to get hurt again on the way out, I guess, because we were too slow. But ah, it was worth it for infamy, I'd say. And we are going to play uh, our our Demon Judgment. And we found a crawl space. So before we play Demon Judgment, small rock. Uh, I mean, you have to think that this is probably better than Callus because we have Thunder Thighs. But it's kind of like a little too late for that synergy to work. But I, I like it anyway. All right, so we got to give you like double the payouts here. Got it. We definitely have the Polaroid, of course, as you can see. Thank you, Old Bandage, for really helping me out here. I appreciate it. And we got Contract from Below, which should solve any consumable-related woes we consider having. Let's get a move on here. That was a good decision. Red chess? Mmm, okay. Red chess? No, a golden chess. Probably still worth it, though. Yeah! <laughs> Wow, that was uh, that ability to fly is going to help out a lot. That's very helpful. You know what? We, we should use High Priestess, but we should have used High Priestess. We should have used it earlier. This room is one of the very few that's actually harder with Epic Fetus, I think. Unless you kill the enemies right at the, the outset. This could take a little while here. It's going to be a little bit on the longer side as far as runs go. You know, it could be a 45-minute run. Might as well use it once. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. As long as we get out of this with our with our streak intact, I'm happy. And I didn't cheese this run out at all. I got Epic Fetus when I needed to get Epic Fetus. So there were not too many items that would have made me feel you know good about myself there. Uh, I would love to take the bad trip pill and just get full health right away, but we can't do that unfortunately. So I think we stick with blank card, uh, blank card high priestess, and hope for the best here. Got number one. It's so nice having number one here, like being able to actually do damage. Do we know this pill? Luck up. I mean, the more luck upgrades we get, the better, of course. Gluttony? Not gluttony. Super Envy! Not the best use of that, but I had to give it a shot to save myself a little time. I love Lucky Rock. It would have been such a good trinket if we just had to show up a little earlier on this run. I'm often guilty of equating it with Petrified Poop, but it's so much better if you can get the synergies that actually make it, you know, viable and, and work. Um, let's, uh, let's just go to our boss fight now. We've taken a lot of time here. I'm not feeling bad about that. I think it was, it ended up being a great decision. We got Contract from Below and Fate. Lost a couple of Spirit Hearts in the process, but you know. There you go. <laughs> That's even worse. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. You ever crack an egg and then you're like, you're gonna crack it in a... This is not very good. You're going to crack it in a bowl, but then it just cracks on the counter as soon as you crack it. And you're like, oh man, there's like yolk on your countertop. It happened to me this morning, and the, the day just has not been right since. There's got to be a tinted rock here. I Like, I refuse to believe that there is not a tinted rock in the vicinity. Got a red chest out of that. Probably out of that champion, I guess. Spiders, that's okay. No tinted rocks. That is incredible to me. Well, let's fight our boss. It's Teratoma. This is perfect! Well, it's not actually as perfect as I originally thought it would be, I guess. Oh my god, we're... Okay, cool it. Cool it. You know what would really help out on this run? Like a single orbital? We have nine lives. Okay, so I got my blood pressure started to rise a little bit there. Then I was like, we have nine lives. We have little to worry about. Maybe something, but little. Angel room? Meat and a devil room. This could be good. That is, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It fits the definition. Uh, let's let's explore a little bit. I actually want to go to our second secret room on the hopes of getting an HP upgrade, or for the hopes of getting an HP upgrade. 
Now, of course, this only works if we don't lose our Eternal Heart in the process. Oh, there is a Tinted Rock. Alright, all of a sudden, I'm extremely glad I made the decision to come up here. Let's stop hitting ourselves. That was, like, pretty much the principal reason I have found myself in HP trouble. So, we'll just sort that shit right out. Range down, bad trip. Luck up. Two luck ups. And I'm starting to think that Blank Heart High Priestess is not worth as much as just... Like, do not walk into those. It's not worth as much as just one bad trip pill. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Um, but... It is what it is, you know, we're, we're here. Let's stick with it. Blank card is a blessing. We should just enjoy it. As we head down to the next floor. So happy we have the mind, we definitely already got that. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. Mmm... Why not, right? Like, why not play our blood bank here? Get a chance to get some HP back with the uh, old bandage. We get a half heart interval, we can get some invincibility out of, out of it, have a pretty good chance to... Uh, Pick up a blood bag, which would be really worthwhile. IV bag is just straight up trash for us right now. But And we can get into our boss trap room now. Which gives us a very, very small, but admittedly existent chance of picking up uh, guppy items. I really wish that our rate of fire was better. It's taken us so long to kill, like... Like, one enemy... Oh, another crawl space. One enemy that has two stages is, like, impossible for us to kill, apparently. Again, bad trip is just not what we needed to be here. This is Aquarius. This is okay. If I can get out of this without getting hit. Are you kidding me? Got a little lucky there, I'd say. Aquarius with the ability to fly is pretty okay. We can't go into our boss trap room. We gotta go back this way, play this a little bit. I really, really do not want to lose this life. So I'm I'm a little wary about the amount of uh, gambling I'm doing here, but every blood bag helps out so much. So if we lose this life and we start to have one HP, things will become a little nerve-wracking. That's what the spirit hearts are for. Man, it's like... it's These rooms are really bad. Fistula and, and Teratoma with Epic Fetus are just god-awful, man. We just gotta... Admittedly, I'm not playing super well with it either, but... Like, these are the worst enemies that we could fight, and we're just fighting them non-fucking-stop, apparently. What is this? A movie starring Chris Pine and Denzel Washington about a runaway train that needs to be stopped before it crashes into a small town and bankrupts the company? And also kills a lot of people. We're, we're still fine HP-wise, but certainly I would have preferred it to go a little differently. Um, that was not what I meant to do. I'll just tell you that one straight up. I didn't mean to blow that up. Looks like we would have had trouble with it regardless, but... Let's, yeah, let's definitely pick up the nickels. I think those are uh, a very important part of our overall uh, philosophy on this run. Hoping that... I mean, IV bag wasn't really what I was looking for. And we don't need money, so that sucks pretty bad. I guess now we'll just worry about getting back to full health and, and trying to maintain it for the rest of the run. You know, just your average 40 minute long uh, epic fetus run, very common. Two tiers upgrades. This is maybe the best offensive upgrade we've had since epic fetus, and I mean that sincerely. There's no reason really not to take that. Of course, the other thing we could be doing is anytime we encounter a room that sucks, we'll just bomb our way out. Uh, that's definitely, like, a better strategy than fighting Fistula and fighting Teratoma, if we can get away from it, at least. These enemies are, of course, super simple. I would love... Oh, that's so good. But I would love an Eternal Heart in here. More... This is, like, 12 of these pill rooms that we've had so far. And it's not, like, terrible. We've gotten so many luck upgrades, and now tears upgrades are coming pretty fast as well. But, like... Just give me the one that gives me an Eternal Heart once, maybe? So I think we'll save the second High Priestess play for after we've gotten through this phase of the mom, Mom's Heart fight. Like, we'll save it for here. And I think that was a good use of our time. Although, our actual bullets do like as much or maybe even a little bit more damage than the High Priestess play. So, again, this airs in the side of uh, Bad Trip being a better pill than for us to take here. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm a little tempted to do boss rush. Yeah, that you you looked invincible there, dog, for sure. There is a tinted rock on this room. Weird looking room. I, I don't uh, I don't really recognize it. 
But we should have the opportunity to pick up a spirit heart or two. Seriously? Actually, it might even be more than two. One, you lack a dream come true. How much sexual intercourse do you think Brian McKnight had as a result of that bullshit song? It's so sweet. It's really just... He's describing like a seduction technique down to its scient... Oh my god, three crawl spaces in a row. Down to its like scientific analytical level. It's, it's actually kind of demeaning. He's like, here's the things you need to say. One, you're like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. And then you're already like halfway there because you just repeat it again at step four. Um, so this is, this is very interesting here. I'm not sure quite what we want. Um, I don't think I want fanny pack. I definitely want this. And I think I want black candle. Then we'll play the demon judgment quite substantially. See if we can get like a growth hormones payout. Okay, what's this? Blank card Joker? I like it. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll use that for sure. This is okay, I don't I don't mind this, I'm not surprised by it. Lump of coal I don't think helps us out here. I think we get like a little bit more HP and then go back for um Yeah, get a little bit more HP and then go back for that black market. I don't want to do this room, but I will, so because I'm gonna have to backtrack through it multiple times. Um Yeah, yeah, this is fine. I also want to play the Demon Judgment some more if we can. I'm getting, getting a little risky with the gambles here, I'll admit, but... You've also got to admit that it's been working out pretty well. Now, I think Mr. Mega gives us a, at least a, an area of effect size increase for um, Epic Fetus. Like, I think it makes our attack radius larger. Now that I look at it, maybe that's not true, though. Let's check this out. Right, we can fly now so we don't get hurt on the way in. We've already been in there, of course. That's two guppy items. Copy said. You could have done it. You could have done it. Um, we still need a red heart. This is a spirit heart, which I love to see. Uh, I I may take more. Like I may play that key beggar. There's a couple of things I may I may get up to on that room. I fucking hate this room, man. The only reason I'm not bombing my way out of this room is because I know I'm gonna have to bomb my way out of this room multiple times. I'm probably not gonna take damage, it's just gonna be annoying, so... You know, it's like if you if you get an assignment in class and you're like, oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. You should really do it, like... As soon as you get home. I know that's like a pussy way to do things, like... I would... They should really... You should work when you're like six. Our lives are backwards, man. I know this is like an old joke from a fucking, you know, forward, forward, re... Isn't this the truth, etc, etc, kind of email, but... When you're like six, your mom can be like, Hey, take the shovel and go dig up the weeds in the yard, and you're like, Yeah! A shovel! And when you get older, you're like, I don't want to do that shit, I got shit to do. When you're... You should do high school when you're like 26. I'm taking some classes right now, in, in my free time, and I, like, I'm busier by a factor of like nine than I was when I was in high school. And that's not to say that you're not busier than I was when, if you're in high school now. I, you know, worked hard in my studies, but for the most part was just like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna do my, I'm gonna do the bare minimum required to get an A and then blah, blah, blah. Which is fine, you know, that's, that's where you're at in your life at that point. But now I'm like, you know, I go home, I have an assignment, I do the assignment right away, I get all my homework done so I don't have to think about it for like the next week. I know that's not practical all the time. But anyway, and this is, I, I'm like, this is way easier, man. It's because I have that drive now that I didn't have when I was younger. And a lot of people do have that drive when they're younger, but I didn't. That we should do our lives backwards. You should retire. Retiring is right, though. You should retire when you're like 40. It's obviously that's not the average retirement age. But if we could retire when we're 40, because I feel like that gives you time... To first be like, man, I hate work. We definitely want to stick with Joker here. That gives you time to be like, man, I hate work. I want to retire. And then you retire, and for like 15 years, you're like, you know what? I could I could really use another sense of purpose in my life. Then you go back to work, and you work at a job that's very fulfilling until you either take a second retirement or you die. And that sounds like, in, like I mean that as like a dark joke, but I don't. It's actually, I think that's a, a good way to go, man. If you're... If you have the ability to retire, but choose to work because you, you're doing what you love, that's that's awesome. Um, let's let's continue doing our thing here. I'm not going into the light because that scares the shit out of me. If you here's Northern Lion's advice for homework: just do it all <laughs> instantly. It's worth it, man. 
You're, there's a real danger for like, and I talked about this in a lot of Isaac episodes. After high school, mm, that's not totally true. Probably like first year of, of my university career was like the peak of my book intelligence. You gotta carry some momentum or you lose it. People have this idea that you're just constantly getting smarter. No, no, no. If you're playing, if you're living your life right, you're constantly getting wiser. But it's quite common to just get more dumb. Like, uh, depending on the career that you take. Obviously, sitting here playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth has not been good for my knowledge of, you know, theoretical physics and linear algebra. It's worth, uh, you know, keeping that momentum while you got it. If you got a nice drive to be in school right now, self-teach yourself, man. There's never been a better time. You want to learn computer programming? There's tons of resources on the internet. You don't have to wait for your slow-ass high school curriculum to, to finish, you know, intro to, to fucking JavaScript or something like that. You just go off on your own, you know? You want to learn French, German? Start up your own self-learning Rosetta Stone Duolingo stuff. You want to learn how to be the best Dota player in the world? Well, you got a chance at it, don't you? I'm just going to go to the next floor. Uh, I guess I do want that Eternal Heart that's back here. But then I'm going to go to the next floor. The internet is an amazing tool, man. I grew up with the internet, of course. We're going to lose a spirit heart for this? Is this worth it? We can't joke her out. Uh, whatever. It's probably worth it if we can get red hearts. Um, I grew up with the internet. So I'm not, it's not like I'm like, oh, back in my day. But when I was like 12, I was still using Microsoft Encarta. You know, Wikipedia on a CD. She was like, $85. People, I see people on the internet get mad that Jimmy Wales pops up at the top of their... Oh, right, we, Epic Fetus. Mm. Well, some of this is great, though. I think we may not fight Epic Fetus on this run. I'm just a little nervous. Um, see people mad that Jimmy Wales... Pops up on top of their screen once a year. Oh, we'll probably fight Epic Fetus. And he's like, hey, can you spare like a couple of bucks? If everybody that used Wikipedia donated a fraction of a penny, we'd be able to keep the site running forever. And people are like, fuck you, Jimmy. Like, gotta, I don't, I don't want to pay for this shit. Yo, we had to use Microsoft Encarta. It sucked. It was slow. And it was expensive. And like the information was out of date. It was just a book on a CD. Anyway, I'm not saying, you know, you have to donate. I'm just saying, you know... You, you, Recognize you got these tools available, man. You know, you should, uh, if you, if you want to. If you want to sit in your butt and play video games, that's what I did. There's nothing wrong with that as well. You can still lead a totally, totally productive life. However, if you if you got ambition, man, you got to harness that momentum. Because when you get older, you're like, ah, I worked all day. I got to, you know, I got to relax a little bit at night. And that's true. Adults have a lot of stress in their lives. Not that, not that children and teenagers don't, of course. But, you know, harness that momentum where it lives. I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. It's turned into my, like, pseudo-ill-advised Shia LaBeouf do it rant. This is, I hate that because it's so self-serving when people are like, you can do anything. You can't do anything, okay? Like, I don't, I don't mean to be demeaning. I can't be uh, a construction worker. I am a physical pussy who doesn't understand how to put Legos together. I can do lots of great things. I can't be a construction worker. And you know, not, not everybody can be an astronaut. Some people need to... Some people, their calling in life is to, you know, be the accountants for the astronauts and stuff like that. You know, that might not be the most exciting job in the world, but it's meaningful. And isn't it a, a privilege just to just to be able to live on this world and, uh, you know, do something to contribute? However, you can do, like, a lot of things. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's, like, my, my Shia LaBeouf speech is, like, Objectively evaluate your dreams, and if there's a reasonable chance of it happening, then go to why not give it a shot. Anyway, uh, you see, uh, you can do anything. I just got a 68 streak in Isaac. Is this 68 or 67? 67. 67? I thought I was on 67 earlier. Anyway, we're on random next. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, well, uh, thanks for watching. Anyway, statistically, you probably watched a lot. You must really be hate fucking these videos. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.